Then I am Vidya Chitratma, working as assistant professor in Institute Institute of Technology, Dhanapuna. So today I am going to discuss one of the experiments in fluid mechanics and hydraulics machines laboratory, that is flow through orifice. So let us see how to conduct the experiment on the flow through orifice. So before going to start with an experiment, you must know what you mean by the orifice. So orifice is nothing but a small opening which is provided at the bottom of the tank to discharge the water here. So whenever the opening is provided at the bottom of the tank, so water particles are emerging towards the orifice. So then the water particles coming out of the orifice is called as the, the jet of water. So this jet of water is reaches at the smaller diameter at the some point. So this point where the jet of water is having the smaller diameter, that point is called as the vena contracta. So that is uh, vena contract. So this uh, vena contract, we need to uh, find out why whenever the experiment is going on. So in order to uh, do the experiment, we need the sum of the observations. So these are all the sum of the observations. So we need the diameter of the orifice. So whatever the diameter of the orifice we have fixed for the tank, we need to take the diameter and area of the collecting tank we need to measure and the least count of the pointer gauge. The pointer gauge is there in order to take the exact y distances. So the least count of the pointer gauge you need to find out and the area of the orifice using the diameter we need to calculate this area of the orifice here. So orifice or a opening is considered as an orifice only when the water level is above the top surface of the orifice then only the opening is considered as an orifice. So these are all the some of the observations we need to conduct the experiment. So let us see how to conduct the experiment. So this is what the experimental setup of the flow through orifice. So the aim of the experiment is to determine the coefficient of velocity, coefficient of discharge, coefficient of resistance as well as the coefficient of contraction when the water is flowing through the orifice. So let us see the some of the parts in this uh, flow through orifice. This is what the collecting tank. So this is the supply pipe through which we are allowed the water uh, through this tank. So this is the supply board and this is the controlling board, this is the supply uh, pipe and this is what the collecting tank. Uh, so this is what the storage tank and we can observe here. So we are having uh, the small, the circular orifice provided, the small orifice provided at the bottom of the tank. The diameter of this uh, orifice is 2 cm. So then we can observe we are having the pointer gauge here and the scale is there in order to measure the x distance and y distance of, of the uh, jet flowing through the orifice. So and we are having the collecting tank here so in order to take the uh, whatever the time taken to rise the 20 centimeter rise of the water we have to use this collecting tank. So this is the circular collecting tank we have to take the diameter and find out the area here. So let us see how to conduct this experiment. So here, so first what you need to do here, you have to take the sum of the observation. You have to measure the diameter of the orifice here. So and after the diameter, so initially you have to take the x and y distances. So it is nothing but you have to adjust this pointer gauge to the tip of this orifice. So then you have to measure what is the x uh, uh, coefficient and what is the y coordinate from this point. That is the initial reading. This I will explain in the calculation of the tabular column. So after taking this reading that is x1 and y1 take the diameter of the orifice then you are going to start with the experiment. So how to allow the water using this control wall. So then the piezometer will show the, the rise of the water in the this two storage tank. So wait for some time such that the water flowing or the inflow become constant. So when the water in the storage tank becomes constant, then we will start with to take the readings. So whenever you have started, uh, whenever the con flow is constant, so then what happens, uh, the jet is continuously moving from this orifice point. So this jet is up to the certain distance, the just, uh, after that the, just, uh, the jet is having a smaller diameter that is the contraction will take place. So at the contracted point, so that is where the jet is having the minimum diameter, so that point is called as the vena contractor. You need to take the reading at the vena contractor. So use this pointer gauge, so uh, suppose you just assume
you whenever the jet of water is flowing here so the bent may be somewhere here you have to adjust this pointer gauge to that bend so you have to take what is the x value and what is the y value to use in this pointer gauge so this pointer gauge should be touched to the point at the vena contractor lies so after this you have to take the collecting tank reading so for the 20 cm rise of water tank using the timer you have to take the collecting tank reading the similar procedure you have to conduct by uh, for the different trials you have to take the x value and you have to take the y value by increasing the discharge so again you have to increase the discharge wait for the constant flow then again the point of vena contractor is now shifted so then you have to take what is x value and what is y value here similarly for the collecting tank readings so one of the important thing is here you have to uh, find out where the vena contractor is there and you have to take the reading at the vena contractor so let us uh, see how to conduct this experiment that is the conduction we will show in the next so let us see how to conduct this experiment this is what the controlling wall you just allow the water using this control wall so whenever you are allowing the water the water is start to uh, start storing in this storage tank you have to wait for some time such that the water flowing uh, water uh, which is the storing in the collecting uh, storage tank will become constant so whenever this uh, water becomes constant then you have to start to take the reading so you can observe here the jet of water is flowing so this is what the jet of water so you can observe here at the some point this jet of water is bent so where the uh, this jet of water bends so that uh, point we are having the minimum process so we know that this is what the pointer gauge so now we have to take the three readings here one is x and y and another one is collecting tank reading so now you have to place this pointer gauge at the point of vena contractor is nothing but where the minimum cross section is this. so just move this uh, pointer gauge so it is the place where there is a vena contractor so you just wait for this steady flow so then only you have to take the reading so you just adjust this pointer gauge and you have to place this tip of the pointer gauge at the point of the vena contractor so then you have to measure what is the x distance the scale is there and you have to take the y coordinate that is y value using this pointer gauge so we are having so after taking the x and y coordinate so then you have to take the collecting tank reading so here there is a piezometer you have to close this wall so just close this wall then you have to take the holding the tank taken for the 20 cm rise of the water in the collecting tank so the similar procedure you have to conduct for the several trials so you have to increase the discharge wait for the constant flow then you have to adjust this uh, pointer gauge at the point of vena contractor so then you have to take the what is the x value and what is the y value by increasing the discharge similarly you have to take the collecting tank reading so this is what uh, the how to conduct the experiment of flow through orifice so this is what the schematic representation of the experiment flow through orifice uh, as i explained there, there is a storage tank is there and uh, we are having the graduated scale and the pointer gauge or hook gauge we have to use so this is the storage tank and in order to take the uh, x coordinate uh, uh, we are having uh, the graduated scale and in order to measure the y coordinate we are having this pointer gauge or a hook gauge and this is what the storage tank in order to take the time taken to um, rise the 20 centimeter rise in the collecting tank in order to calculate the actual discharge so this is what the schematic representation of the flow through orifice let us see the uh, tabulations of the all the readings of this experiment so this is what the tabular column of flow through orifice so let us see one by one how to take the readings the serial number is nothing but uh, how many trials you are taking you just uh, note on that serial numbers here then head it is represented in uh, that is capital letter head in terms of meter head is nothing but whatever the uh, constant head you have maintained in the storage tank so that head you have to enter here in terms of meter that is uh, the storage tank whenever the piezometer is showing the constant head that constant heads for each trial so you have to note down here and the jet coordinates 
So here you can observe the Z coordinates initial reading x1 and y1 is nothing but what before going to start with an experiment initially we have fixed the pointer gauge at the tip of the orify. So that reading you have to write here. So this initial reading is nothing but x1 and y1 is same for the all the trials because we are taking this reading before starting the experiment while the pointer gauge point is fixed at the tip of the orify. So these readings are same for all the trials. So then the final reading x2 and y2. So as I explained in the experiment, you have to measure what is the x coordinate and what is the y coordinate. X2 is measured using the scale and y2 you have to take in the pointer gauge. You have to write in terms of the centimeter here. So these are all the z coordinates. So the net z coordinates you have to calculate. This is what the formula. I have to take the difference. So since it is in centimeter, to convert this uh, centimeter to meter, we have divided this into the 100. That is x2 minus x1 divided by 100 and y2 minus y1 divided by 100 it is in terms of meter so this is what the net coordinates of the jet so the next is this is what the collecting tank reading whatever the time taken for the 20 centimeter rise of the collecting tank you should note down in terms of the seconds here for all the trials so after noting the collecting tank reading you have to calculate what is the actual discharge we are having the formula a into r divided by T into 100. A is nothing but area of collecting tank. R is nothing but rise is nothing but the 20 centimeter and T is time taken for the 20 centimeter rise of the collecting tank and um, in order to convert this to meter we have multiplied it with a 100. So this is what the Q actual. So and Q theoretical is nothing but C into root of H. This is the formula and this constant C we have calculated using this formula that is C is equal to A into root of 2g so a is nothing but area of the orify and j is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity so then we will get the q theoretical here so we know that uh, the coefficient of discharge is nothing but q actual divided by q theoretical so that is the coefficient of discharge is always q actual divided by q theoretical and coefficient of velocity is equal to x divided by root of 4y into h whereas x is the uh, the coordinate of jet along x direction y is nothing but coordinate jet along the y direction so using this formula i have to calculate what is the coefficient of velocity here so then the cc is nothing but coefficient of contraction coefficient of discharge divided by coefficient of velocity will give you the coefficient of contraction here so then the coefficient of resistance it is a resistance is nothing but 1 divided by coefficient of uh, velocity what you have calculated that is cv square minus 1. So then you have to calculate uh, the log h and log qa. H is nothing but uh, here uh, uh, you have to take the head of the water the log head and you have to consider what is the actual uh, velocity that is actual discharge log you have to calculate for the calibration so this is what the tabular column what we are using for the orifice so this is what the nature of the graph for the flow through orifice you just observe you have to plot the log h along the y x-axis and log qa along the y-axis so the maximum line joining the points you have to join here the straight line where the straight line cuts the y-axis you have to consider that value as a log k so since all the values of log h to the baseline and log qa are negative therefore we will get the graph in the third quadrant so then you have to take the slope uh, n is equal to dy divided by dx you just uh, choose any two random points and you have to take the slope here so then how to do the calibration or how to calculate the cd value from the graph here so just observe we are having the q actual equation cd into a into root 2gh this is what the actual uh, actual discharge equation so from this equation let us consider the constant k you can write h raised to instead of root you have to write the h raised to n so let us consider this equation as a 1 so now apply the log on both sides so that is um, log qa to the base 10 so this is log k this is in terms of uh, m raised to n n log m so this is what the uh, log applied equation so now from the this equation that is equation 1 k value is nothing but cd into a into root 2 gh so then you have to consider these term is nothing but c so therefore k is equal to cd into c value here c is nothing but what c is equal to a into root of 2g is your c value so from this you will get the cd is equal to k divided by c 
So here from this uh, uh, graph, you will get the log k value. By applying the NT log, you will get the k value here. Just substitute the k value and c is constant. And you have to find out what is the CD value by the calibration or a graph. So this is what the calibration of flow through orifice. So after this, uh, you need to show the sum of the results. So these are all the sum of the results of what we have to get uh, by this experiment. So that is uh, the coefficient of velocity, coefficient of discharge, contraction and resistance, what we have obtained by the tabular column. And from the log log graph also, what is the CD value and the slope value you must mention here. So this is what the complete uh, procedure to find out the, the coefficients of uh, the circular orifice. Thank you.